Hey guys, it's your boy here. It's your man here. It's your matey here. Oli J here with another video. And before I start this video, I, f I have to say sorry. I feel like I have to say sorry to most of you guys. Just sorry. And you might be thinking, Oliver, why are you saying sorry? <coughs> well, if you have been with my channel between the release of Call of Duty Ghosts was the beginning of November and the beginning of 2014, you might have realised I have been uploading quite a um, long series on my channel. I've been uploading the Call of Duty Ghosts campaign series. And you might be thinking, if you, if you saw the series, I remember that series. That is an old series compared to now. Well, this might sound dumb or a bit unresponsible, but I said that I'm going to be doing a thoughts video on the campaign of Call of Duty Ghosts. I said this about the beginning of January. Two months later, nearly halfway through March, I just remembered about the video. So what I'm saying is I've completely forgot about the thoughts video on the Call of Duty Ghosts campaign. I completely forgot about that video. I'm so sorry. I was too busy thinking about my open lobbies, the Walking Dead series. I just remembered, oh shit, I need your video. Some of you might be thinking, well that is such an old series, why bother? Well there are, there might be quite a few people upset about it, so I thought, why not do a video based on the Call of Duty Ghost review? I think it's best to do it, than not to do it. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a thoughts video on the Call of Duty re on the, I'm going to be doing thoughts video on the Call of Duty Ghosts campaign. And I'm really sorry if it's such a long delay. I'm so sorry about that. But sorry, yeah, that's all I could say. Anyway, if I could remember most of the campaign, because I haven't played it for like two months and don't know the details, let's, like, I'm just going to say my thoughts on it. My thoughts on this, on this campaign I played two months ago. It is all right. I mean, every Call of Duty campaign is the same. The same, sorry. There's a bad guy. Let's get a good team in there. Let's go and beat the bad guy's ass. Oh, wait, we fell. Let's try again. Yes, we succeed. Legend. Being Call of Duty ghosts, they don't succeed kicking the bad guy's ass. I just remembered, if you're new to my channel and haven't checked out the series, please go and check out my Call of Duty Ghost campaign series. I'm really sorry that I just spoiled the ending, but yeah, sorry. Oops. Anyway, and my thoughts in the beginning of the campaign. Um, it is alright. I mean, I like the action in Call of Duty um, and yeah. I like the action in Call of Duty campaigns. I mean, the action in the beginning of Call of Duty goes is the nuclear missile. I like the beginning. I like cute Riley. I just want to sniff his butt all the time. It's not a cute dog. What a legend. Anyway, to my thoughts in the beginning, I like the ghost. I like that Elias turned out to be a flipping ghost member. I did not see that coming. I think. I don't know. So yeah, oh, I think the beginning is good. I like the fact that Rourke, like, portrayed them, but yeah. And um, I think the middle of the campaign, it is good. I mean, I there's nothing really bad with the campaign. I quite like the campaign. I mean, there, you know, I just like the campaign. I think the campaign's good. My ending on the middle, there is a, there's quite a lot of the storyline going on in the middle. But yeah, I think the middle is alright, you know, it's just, it's alright. The ending, I love the ending, one of the best moments in Call of Duty Ghost history. The, usually in Call of Duty Ghost, no, Call of Duty campaigns, 
They kill the bad guy. Or, yeah, they kill the bad guy. They kill the bad guy. Oh, what a twist in the ending. They don't kill the bad guy. If you don't the ending, please go and check it. It's like, it's so devastating if you know what happens. It's so devastating if it's spoiled. But what happens is, um, Hesh and Logan are trying to kill Rook. And they sort of do, like, I don't know what happens. I know what happens, but Logan shoots Rook right in the heart. And then I don't know how he survives. Rook turns out to be alive. And may a couple of seconds after the credits, um, Rook kidnaps Logan. And what he's going to do to Logan, he's, he's going to kidnap Logan and brainwash him to become a psycho killer like him. I mean, on the night I play that campaign, I'm serious. I couldn't sleep. It was so good. It was so haunting. I just couldn't sleep. I love it. Oh my god, I love it. It is just, the ending is so good. So my thoughts on the entire campaign, I recommend you go and play it. It is a good campaign. Not much else to say. I think the only really good part about it is, about it is the ending. And I'm really sorry how delayed, two months delayed this video is. I hope you forgive me. If you forgive me, leave a like on this video, okay? Leave a like for infinity. I don't know. I lost it, man. I lost it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry about the delay. And this is Ollie J.